Hey pros, Crystal here from Elite Hair Care USA. So today we're going to talk all about trim schedule. My client here has already been shampooed and dried. Of course, for the shampoo, she is definitely low porosity. So you can utilize our Mendits, which is the control collection that helps with split ends and also frizz control. Or you have the option of using our moist repair collection, which is the shampoo, conditioner, mask, and leave-in. Now, I already silk pressed her for the sake of this video. I wanted to really home in on trim schedule and trim style. So the trim schedule for natural hair is always going to follow what we say the financial calendar. You can also follow the seasons because we know that there are four seasons in a year. Um, I like to say follow the financial calendar, which follows the quarters in the year. So that means that every three to four months, you should be getting a proper trim. And when I say a proper trim, I mean hair blown straight. Some stylists can blow the hair bone straight or the hair silk pressed to be as silky as possible. Now, I know a lot of you are like, oh, I don't want the heat damage. I'm afraid of heat damage, heat damage, heat damage. Well, the good thing is we have our frizz control or our goddess polish, as well as our thermal blow dry spray. All three of those can be used as a form of heat protectant when you are doing your silk press. And remember you guys, you're really getting the press for the purpose of this trim. The real goal is to have your hair nice and straight so that you have an even playing ground for you to be able to get a true trim. So for those of you that like to trim your hair at home, which I know a lot of you are watching this video right now, we are getting away from trimming at home and we are getting in the habit of going to a professional so that our trim can be done right. Okay, there's a difference between you washing your car at home and you taking your car to a professional detailer. So it's the same thing with your hair. There's a difference between you trimming your own hair at home and you taking yourself to a actual reputable salon to a stylist that you can trust to give you a good trim. Now, there is a difference between a trim and a cut. A trim is light dusting of the ends. This is not going to change your style in any way, shape or form. A trim is a uniform, uniform process. And when I say uniform process, uniform process meaning you are following the shape of the head. You are also going with the actual layers of the hair. Um, and when I say shape of the head, you guys, let me go back. The head is the shape of an orange. So it should be trimmed like an orange is being peeled. Okay, in slices, the head is not flat, the head is not a rectangle. If you want to trim the hair like it was a orange or a grapefruit, if you were slicing it, hence the reason why I always say you guys should not be doing your own trim at home. Now, let's go back to the trim schedule. Yes, natural hair should be trimmed every quarter, that is, every three to four months. You can get yourself a silk press. It is not going to hurt you to get a silk press every three to four months. It is not going to change your curl pattern. For my relaxed hair people, because the trim schedule does not just apply to natural hair. For my relaxed hair people, your trim should be done with every retouch relaxer. Now, I like to give this joke, but this is really a serious thing. My relaxed hair people, you should be getting a trim with every retouch relaxer. But if your stylist matches your trim schedule with her mortgage, then of course you are not going to follow her trim schedule. A typical relaxer is done every 6 to 12 weeks, depending on the level of new growth or the amount of new growth that you get within that time frame. Everyone is going to be on a different schedule. Do I recommend trimming your hair every 4 weeks as a relaxed client? No, unless you have a shortcut that's a little bit different. But in a case where you have longer hair, hair past the bob length, hair even not even more say bob length, but you have inches of some sort, you're going to follow that same schedule either with your retouch relaxer or every six to 12 weeks. So keep that in mind when you guys are going in for your relaxer services. Same thing for my natural gals when you are going in for your styles. I know some of you love to wear your hair in the wash and goes. I know some of you like to wear your hair nice and curly. But for the sake of a good trim and for the sake of the health of your hair, you do definitely want to make sure that you are working with straight hair so that you can actually see your length. And this is also a great time to do a length check. For those of you that think skipping your trim is helping you, shame on you.
Skipping a trim is not helping you. It's actually hindering the process and then you wonder why. Your ends always look very straggly. Your ends always look separated. They never look polished. They always look dry because split ends are meant to be cut. They cannot be restored. They cannot be repaired. Now they can be maintained. Of course, we have our mended collection. I'm sorry, controlled collection, which is the mended line. But that is really an aid to get you through the three to four months of you not getting your trim yet. So the mended products are not to take... Um, or to replace your actual trim schedule. It is to aid the trim schedule and also to make the hair feel nice and sleek, nice and soft, and help you to control a lot of the frizz that you're dealing with. I hope this video gave you some clarity on your trim schedule and maintaining your natural or relaxed hair. If you're new here, stay tuned to get a coupon code to save an additional 30% off your first purchase. And of course, as usual, I'll see you guys in our next video. Peace.